Today we're going to be talking about 10 sexiest fragrances for women which men love. So if you want to know what men love to smell on women, keep on watching. Three, two, one, let's do this. Hi, my name is Monica Chohan. On this channel, we talk about fragrances. So if you're interested in fragrances at all, press that subscribe button and the notification bell, I almost forgot, uh, to get notified of my latest videos when they do come out. And today I have to thank our sponsor for this video, which is Ana Luisa Jewelry. And they provided me with these beautiful, beautiful hoops. And I always wear hoops, so I, of course I chose hoops. I have been wearing them all week, styling them from like this extravagant dress. I've been styling them also with just some leggings and a white t-shirt and a jean jacket. You can, they're very versatile. And the best thing is also that I'm all about sustainability and they do use sustainable uh, selling silver and gold. So be assured that when you're buying a piece from them, you're not destroying this beautiful planet, which is amazing. Their pieces start from $49, which is so affordable. And the reason why they can afford to do that, they don't have retail stores. So they cut out the middlemen, they only sell online. Therefore, you're getting really high quality pieces. Like they use Tiffany's jewelers uh, and you get that quality, but for a much, much cheaper price, like 10 times cheaper. So they're definitely worth checking out. I'll link them down below. You also get an exclusive 10% discount, actually with a code that I'll also put down in the description bar. So check them out. And now let's start and talk about fragrances. So number 10, a fragrance that many men find really, really attractive. And I don't actually have a bottle here with me, but I'll pop a bottle here. It is Classique Essence de Parfum from Jean Paul Gaultier. And fun fact, I actually used to uh, live across from the offices in Paris, but that's beside the point. Anyway, this fragrance is beautiful. It's an orange blossom fragrance with some lovely ambery vanilla. It also has got some freshness coming from the ginger and creaminess from sandalwood and some like whipped chantilly cream or something like that. It's a very smooth fragrance that isn't too sweet because many of fragrances that men love are just cloyingly sweet. But this one is perfectly balanced, which is nice. It's also quite affordable and it's very sophisticated. In my opinion, it's timeless and many men find it incredibly sexy because of the sweetness of it, but also because of the uniqueness of it. The orange blossom really stands out in this fragrance and I absolutely love it. It's so beautiful. Check out Classique Essence de Parfum from uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier, especially that essence. It has to have the essence in it because there's different options, uh, di different concentrations of that fragrance. Number nine in my sexiest list is actually Elisa Le Parfum, but it's called In White. So this fragrance is for the fans of Jasmine. So this has got a very strong jasmine white floral uh, scent, but it also smells a bit peachy, like a uh, peach, which is really, really lovely and fresh. So it's got the sweetness. Again, it's not too cloying. It's not too sweet. And many men absolutely love this because it's different to those cloyingly, very, very sweet vanillas that you have on the market. And this is for the lovers of um, fresh white floral fragrances for people that don't really like really sweet fragrances but that want to smell sexy to their man so this is a perfect choice for you if you're that person if you hate cloning these sweet, sweet fragrances but you like pretty floral fragrances on everyday basis this would be stunning on you this is sweet beautiful fresh but also incredibly sexy Elisab Le Parfum in white Le Parfum is also great so you can check out those two options from the house 
Number eight is a classic and I'm sure you've heard of it. I'm sure you've smelt it on somebody. It's the all time favorite Coco Mademoiselle from Chanel. This is the Eau de Parfum Intense. So this is the intense version. And I do recommend this one for the colder season and the normal Eau de Parfum for the warmer season because they are very similar smelling. But this fragrance, it's a bit deeper it's an ambery rich patchouli scent that is also fresh at the beginning it's very uh, fresh and pretty uh, at the beginning but later it just really settles down on the skin and becomes this beautifully warm spicy from the patchouli scent that is incredibly timeless anybody could pull this off this is really a fragrance that anybody could wear it's so easy to wear it's a classic everybody knows it uh, but it's for a good reason because it's so incredibly good and men really really find it attractive and sexy i think this is sexiness but in a, in a sophisticated way this is not like slutty sexiness this is a very sophisticated woman that or a girl that is just very controlled knows what she wants and um is just wearing an all-time classic so this is a great one again number eight coco mademoiselle eau de parfum intense by chanel number seven is a fragrance that is quite popular um and people know it but i feel like some of the older women uh, uh, who might be watching this video older i mean like 14 plus they might not know it but they might also like to wear it so this is juicy couture gold couture this is a long name this fragrance is so incredibly affordable and, and that is such a good selling point for this fragrance and not only that this is a sexy sexy scent and you could get a hundred ml bottle for so so cheap like 20 something pounds and this smells like beautiful caramelly vanilla and some berries on top so this is like your best dessert um, and at the same time it's not <clears throat> cloyingly sweet it is balanced so it's not like dragging you because it's so 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 sweet it is balanced and also i find that it's a bit soapy it's a bit clean smelling which just balances the sweetness out perfectly the bottle suggests it's for a very young demographic but i think anybody really could pull it off the only problem with this one is that it doesn't last too long but you can easily just respray it because it's so affordable so yummy it's just a yummy caramel sweet goodness this is a feel-good fragrance this is sexy uh, if you're like a younger teenager or like just beginning your 20s like guys will love this on you this is foolproof fragrance that grab and go and yeah it'll smell sexy gold couture is a very 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 sophisticated and complicated fragrance in the best way possible so this is roja parfum ti amo and ti amo means i love you so this is meant to be a sensual sexy fragrance and it is it is amazing this oh my gosh this smells like cocoa so yummy right like cocoa chocolatey tonka bean this is so yummily sweet but again not too sweet perfectly balanced i like those fragrances that are just perfectly balanced and also it's got a note of ylang ylang which is beautiful it just makes it smell much more unique than anything you can find on the designer market this is quite expensive this is a niche fragrance and um, a very complex complicated scent that smells so luxurious so timeless so sophisticated and so sexy edible this is an edible fragrance it's got some freshness in it flowers but the main notes I pick out is the cocoa, the beautiful cocoa in the opening. It just smells like chocolate. You just want to eat it. Jasmine too. Jasmine is an incredibly sexy note in fragrances and men really love jasmine on women. 
if you're looking for something that nobody will be wearing around you that is very very expensive smelling and it is expensive try out this this is really unique and amazing just try it for yourself by the way i'll link all the fragrances down below because it will be a lot and some of the names are quite complicated Number five is a fragrance that I absolutely love, but I didn't start off that way. Um, but anyway, this is a fragrance very popular, amazing. Maison Francisco Cajan Baccarat Rouge 540. I've got the extra version, but the Eau de Parfum version is equally as good. This smells of saffron, bitter almond, uh, just lovely vanilla and jasmine. This is so expensive smelling, so hypnotizing. You'll really smell different and very strong. This is potent stuff. If you want to smell sexy in a club or somewhere where there's loads of fragrances but you want to stand out, this is your go-to. This is extremely strong, it smells like unlike anything else on the market this smells expensive it smells kind of like burnt sugar sweet sweet spicy smell and also has got this hospital sort of weird clean note and for that reason it's very unique and people love it for that because it's just different you can't describe it it's very sweet but light at the same time, you have to check out this fragrance. This is an all-time classic and incredibly sexy. Um, yeah, just check it out. Baccarat Rouge 540. Number four, we're getting closer, closer to the finish line. It's a Tom Ford fragrance and Tom Ford fragrance does have the sexy sensual vibe don't they and this is one of my favorites for women it's Tom Ford Noir this fragrance is so so sensual so mysterious and deep if you are that sort of person that wants to smell very strong mysterious like you just know what you want very strong um very powerful then this is your go-to fragrance if you've ever smelled a dual addict uh the blue bottle this is somewhat um similar to that this is a dusty strong vanilla amber some woodiness in this this is a very very powerful powdery uh, fragrance when i think of this fragrance it's like if there was an explosion of like some sort of um powder like you know incense um loads of uh, cinnamon loads of different spices if they were just exploded and then settled down on the floor this is what it smells like to me very very strong and um, powerful just deep rich fragrance it's got some white florals it smells balsamic warm spicy heavy it's beautiful if you haven't checked it out men love this one on women especially like for evening night and uh, nighttime kind of situations this is amazing number three is i love this one. Oh, it's so good it's hypnotic poison eau de toilette <sighs> this this is amazing. This is designer, but it's it could smell like it smells like thousand million dollars. This smells like almonds, so bitter almonds. It's got a menthol, is it like peppermint sort of vibe too? This note that many people pick up on. Um, it smells very very uh, rich and vanilla like it also some people say it smells like play-doh so you've got that play-doh-y vibe but this is an oriental vanilla scent that you have to have to smell this men absolutely love on women because it's again mysterious sensual it's a quite it's not as strong as Tom Ford for example it's more of a like if somebody passes you they get a whiff of it and they're intrigued this is so hypnotic hypnotic poison this is very hypnotizing very addictive this is amazing you have to check it out hypnotic poison order to alert by Dior number two is Chanel Chance and this fragrance I just repurchased it 
I have gone through two bottles of this. This is a fragrance that men love. And you might be like wondering why do men love it? Because it's, you don't think of it as sexy. But I have heard so many men describe this fragrance as sexy. And I think it's because it's not obviously sexy. It's not rich, it's not heavy, it's not incredibly sweet, but there is something in this that just sits so well on the skin. It becomes a beautiful skin scent. It brings out your natural skin scent and makes it smell wonderful. So, so good. I would describe this fragrance as fresh, floral, spicy. It has got grapefruit and quince at the top and it's got jasmine and I think jasmine makes it sexy because jasmine is a very sensual flower. Um, so this is a light fragrance that it's not very, very powerful, but this is perfect on an everyday basis if you want to smell sensual, sexy every single day, just even when you're out and about, wear this and you'll get tons and tons of compliments for this. And the final fragrance, the sexiest of them all, in my opinion, is no other than Alien from Terry Mugler and this is an absolute uh, version of it and it's sold I think it's discontinued but you can still get it online so I don't get why people say it's discontinued I bought this one about like five months ago so you can definitely uh, definitely get it alien it's a very sexy fragrance. It's very unique. Um, now it's become very, very popular. So many people wear it because they know that men love it. Like you'll find a thousand girls out in the club wearing Alien. But I love Alien Absolute because it's still got that Alien original DNA, but it's richer, heavier, more um, rounded and deep. So if you love original Alien and you want something a bit different, this is the go-to. This is very loud. If you want a loud fragrance that will cut through the noise and make you stand out, this is the one. It's amazing. Uh, it's got jasmine again. Jasmine, it's a very central flower. This one has got also a very, very strong vanilla. So it's very essential, deep, almost like covered in dripping vanilla um, sauce or something like that. It's a beautiful fragrance that will make you stand out. It smells different than anything else that you'll find on the market. Very, very, very unique. I'm very thankful for Thierry Mugler, which made uh, this fragrance. Well, it's a designer. Perfumers made this fragrance, but it is one that if I want to smell cozy and sexy nighttime this is my go-to this makes a lasting impression and it's also quite affordable so this one is the sexiest of them all i can imagine it on a girl like in her 20s or a woman in her 50s i really can because this is a timeless DNA. I think the original Alien, the Eau de Parfum, I think that one is more suited to maybe younger girls and women, but this one is truly more classic, more timeless, and very sophisticated in a bit of a slutty way, if I can say it, <laughs> but it is. It's it's just that. It, it's a dirty jasmine, sweet, just stunning. This is the sexiest one for me personally and I've heard many men absolutely love, love Alien. Let me know what, what other videos you would like to see from me. Uh, I post every Monday and Thursday. Uh, and also remember, if you love something, you can wear it. And I'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye, guys.